Okay, we're picking up right where we left off in the last video with the inner HTML property. Now, in the last video, of course, we were writing out new text, new content. In this video, we want to use inner HTML to read our content in, and then we want to add these two sentences. So I've altered our web page a little bit here. I put hit submit to combine these words. So what we want to do is take the text from our first paragraph add our second paragraph, and then add them up and put them in this third paragraph that I've created for this video. And so again, we're going to use inner HTML to read the content of both of these paragraphs and then add them up. So let's go over to our JavaScript, and I'm just going to copy and paste the code in here, and I'll explain it all. So what I've done here is I've created a variable called first paragraph text, and that's named appropriately, of course. And again, same thing that we're doing in the last video, right? We're going to go against the node of the first paragraph, and we're using the inner HTML property. Now notice what's different here. We're not assigning a value. We just ended it with a semicolon, and so we're reading the contents of the first paragraph, which in this case is the text, and we're just assigning it to this variable. Same thing for the second node. We're just reading the contents with the inner HTML property and assigning it to this second pair of text. And then we've created a third variable to add these two together. And of course, we're going against the third paragraph, which is identified by node number two. And so again, we're adding these two up right here. And then hopefully we'll get a complete sentence that'll say hello there from the moon once we click on our button. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see what happens here. And if we hit the submit button, there you see, we get our new text in our third paragraph and it added these two lines. Now, what if you wanted to just get rid of these lines? Well, we have to use inner HTML again to write out a blank statement and we can actually do that. So let's go back to our JavaScript code and I'll just copy and paste some new lines in here. And we're gonna use inner HTML again, right? But this time we're just gonna write out a blank string. So we are writing out here, we're not reading this time, but we're writing out a blank string with no text. And so these two lines now should disappear if this works correctly. And again, we just re-specify the nodes that we want to update. So let's go ahead and run this. And hopefully now we'll just have one line, which will be paragraph three. So if we hit this submit button, there you see, now all we have is the third paragraph, which is all we wanted. It combined the first two lines from the first two paragraphs and gave us our third paragraph and got rid of the first and second paragraph, so this looks a little bit more normal. Okay, that is gonna do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.